Oh, wow. They're all Duesenbergs, right? Yep. Why is this car so much longer than those? It is so, different. This is a really special Duesenberg. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely special. 1929 Duesenberg Model J LeBaron Dual Cowl Phantom. When this car was bought new, the cost was $14,300, and the buyer paid cash. The Duesenberg itself was the most luxurious, high-performance, pre-war American car ever built. 265 horsepower, all of them built with custom bodies. This is the only one that was built on a long wheelbase chassis. This particular one or this model? This particular car. Th this is a one-off car? Yes. 154-inch wheelbase. Oh, wow. This car was built as a limo? Because look at the, the back here. So this would be the dual cowl phaeton. So this separate piece, this is like a second cowl with its own windshield. But to get in the car, you would open the door. OK. And there's a hidden handle here. And you release this handle, and this comes up. And now you've got room wow. to get in the back. Look at the room. Unbelievable. There's even a fold-out footrest. Look at that. <laughs> they thought about everything. They did. So what kind of motor is in this thing? Is it six owner, small motor? No, no, not at all. This is oh a- Oh my God, what the heck? So this is a straight eight, 420 cubic inches. What? Dual overhead cam, 265 horsepower. They didn't come, they did, they did not, this car came I, with this motor? I promise you. Why would they put are, such, a, okay, okay. We know we need a motor this big to pull a car this big, but the car didn't come this big. They wanted to build the most powerful, the most luxurious car. That was the mandate to the Duesenberg brothers from their 265 boss. 265 horsepower in yep. 1929? Yep, and these cars can do 90 miles an hour. They got a three-speed transmission, 90 miles an hour in second gear. I mean, these these are locomotives. I'm normally not even interested in vehicles like this. You guys know I'm more of a fast guy, but I'm telling you, I'm, oh, I'm blown away. Like, wow, I want to ride in here.